Welcome everyone, my name is Jacob Hess and I'm here to take you from zero to engineer. Welcome to today's quick nugget on what is a VLAN. And we're going to go ahead and jump right in here and answer that question real fast and just say a VLAN is a virtual local area network. Well, no, we're not going to just stop there, but I wanted to preface with that. It's called a virtual local area network. Now, we'll define that a lot more here in a minute. But before we do, I'd like to make sure you understand how traffic flows for regular LANs without VLANs. Now, VLANs have been around for a long time, since the 90s. So they've been used for a long time. We use them all the time. They're a huge, important topic in networking. But before we can understand VLANs, we need to understand pre-VLANs. So before we had VLANs, we would create separate networks like this, LAN 1 and LAN 2. And the point here is we have two physically separate switches. So the hosts connected to LAN 1 cannot con communicate to the hosts over at LAN 2. Now, I think we can all agree on that, right? Because there's no connection between these two switches. They're physically separated. They're on physical different networks. So before VLANs, this is the way things were. Now, why would we want to have hosts in different networks? We'll take, for example, if we have a finance department, for example. We'll say LAN 1 is our finance department. We'll say LAN 2 was our guest network for any guests coming in. So it's obvious that we would never want our guest network traffic or host on the guest network to be able to reach the host in our finance department, right? That wouldn't be good for a company. So in that case, we would need to separate those networks. And before VLANs, we had to do that physically. The host needed to be physically connected to separate networking hardware. In this case, switches, right? Uh, separate networking switches. So that's a great point. In order to separate the traffic from LAN 1 to LAN 2, we would have to have them connected to separate switches. Okay, Make sh making sure that you understand that point. So enter VLANs. With VLANs, again, they're called virtual local area networks, but what does that exactly mean? It means they provide us with logical separation or segmentation of our networks. So we can take a single switch, for example, and chop it up into multiple logical networks where there's different, where the traffic is actually separate in each one of those networks. All right, so let's define that a bit more further. We can have multiple networks or VLANs all on the same networking hardware or networking switch. So taking our example here where we have two completely separate networks, well, if we were to use VLANs, we could actually have them all on the same hardware, but still be separated. So we could have our single switch here and implement VLANs, and then we could have our two separate LANs or our two separate networks uh, attach to the same physical device, the same networking hardware, but we can still keep their traffic completely separate and implement our own security controls on those networks individually and separately. So you can see the importance of VLANs here. Now you're, the light bulb is going to go off a lot more here in a sec whenever we describe more of a real world scenario, but this is the basics of it. This is the gist of it. So the traffic is still completely separated from VLAN 1 and VLAN 2, but it's done logically inside the switch rather than physically. All right, so that should make some sense for you. Now, the last point I wanted to make before we move on to the next topic is that our VLANs provide us with logical segmentation of networks. That's kind of my final definition for you on VLANs. VLANs provide logical segmentation of networks. Okay, so how can this apply to more of a real world scenario where we can understand more of this concept and understand how VLANs give us freedom and allow us to be unlimited in our physical locations of hosts? Well, let's look at a situation where we have a building, for example. So let's say that you're a network engineer uh, and you manage the, the networks of this building and you went and installed switches on every floor. Well, let's think pre-VLAN era, we would have to, well, if we wanted to have four different networks, we would have to have the hosts for each individual network all connected to the same switch. For example, it would look something like this. We have four different networks. We got the black, blue, green, and yellow networks here, just for simplicity purposes using colors. But you can see here, we have our, our black network is connected to the top switch. Our blue network hosts are connected to the second switch, so forth and so on. The point is, for the host to be in the same network, they got to be connected to the same piece of hardware. 
That's before VLANs. Now, enter VLANs, and it doesn't matter where the hosts are. We can put them in any VLAN we want to, no matter of their location. Now, in a normal network, all these switches here, uh, all the switches you see in the building would all be interconnected. They would all share the same VLAN database. They would all know about all the VLANs in the network, and you would be able to just go into any switch and assign any host to any VLAN. So that gives you vast amount of flexibility. And this, guys, is the purpose of VLANs. We logically separate our networks using VLANs. And that's the point. All right, guys. So that is the lesson on today's quick nugget on what is a VLAN. My name is Jacob Hess, your instructor and mentor. And as always, thank you very much for viewing. And I'll see you in the next video. Thank you guys for viewing the video. I hope you really enjoyed it. And I'd also like to remind you that if you're truly serious about your career in information technology, be sure to check out our Career Blueprint and Engineer Training Program at www.zerotoengineer.com.